When I was with you brothers, I did not speak in eloquence or superior wisdom as I proclaimed to you the testimony about God. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and with much trembling. My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with demonstration of the Spirit's power, so that your faith might not rest on men's wisdom, but on God's power. You know, a lot of you have stifled yourself. You've prevented yourself from doing what you are truly called to do, whether it's to witness to a neighbor or a stranger, or even lift up your voice streaming wise. You know, because a lot of people or some people like to compare themselves with somebody else, you know, no, you're not so-and-so and that's fine. Only you can bring a, your uniqueness, your flavor and your testimony. See, God can only use you for certain things. So stop comparing yourself with someone else who's more, who's more experienced or more elaborate in what you're called to do. Because remember, God wants to use you. And you know, I've also heard a man I truly respect and honor. He's a doctor. And uh, I was listening to his uh, message he's saying recently. And he was saying, you know, there's a reason why Jesus didn't choose, you know, the Pharisees and, and those people because they were untrainable. 